Discipline and Manifestation Determination ARD for students receiving special education services. This presentation will provide the specific details of discipline for students receiving special education services in Austin ISD. The information is based on the legal mandates in the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act of 2004. Change of placement and manifestation determination requirements will be discussed. When a student engages in a behavior that violates the student code of conduct, the campus administrator decides what the disciplinary consequence will be. When we have an offense that involves days of removal, we are at our first decision point. Does the disciplinary consequence constitute a change of placement? A change of placement occurs when a student with a disability is removed from his or her current educational placement for more than 10 consecutive days, or the student is removed for a series of days that constitute a pattern that total more than 10 school days. The campus administrator must consider any unique circumstances on a case-by-case -case basis when determining whether a change in placement is appropriate for a student with a disability who violates a code of student conduct. In other words, school administrators may choose not to apply discipline to a student whose behavior seems clearly to be caused by a disability. Removals include at-home suspensions, emergency expulsions, elementary or secondary DAEP, ISS with exceptions, retention in the office or cooling off periods that collectively exceed two hours per day outside of the IEP schedule of services, sending home for the remainder of the day, suspensions from special education transportation, even if the student attends school, unless the district provides transportation another way. Any and all of these count as removals and must be included in the 10-day count. For in-school suspension to not count as a day out of placement, the following three conditions must be met. The student had an opportunity to continue to appropriately participate in the general curriculum. The district provided services outlined in the IEP. And the student continued to participate with non-disabled peers to the same extent as they do in the current placement. Please ensure that your campus has a consistent format for documenting the above criteria, for example, a sign-in and sign-out log. Students receiving special education services may be disciplined like any other student for up to 10 cumulative school days per year. This is what is referred to as the 10-day FAPE-free zone. On the 11th day, services must be provided to enable the student to continue to participate in the general education curriculum, although in another setting, and to progress toward meeting IEP goals. The 10 days never recycle, so use these days wisely. Once a student reaches the 11th day of removal in the school year, or a disciplinary infraction has occurred that may result in a change of placement, a Manifestation Determination ARD meeting must be held. The Manifestation Determination form in the IEP must be completed thoroughly as well as discussion noted clearly in the ARD summary. There are several pieces of information that, by law, we must examine as we make the Manifestation decision. The relevant information to review includes the IEP, any teacher observations, and any relevant information provided by the parent. Other relevant information in the student's file may include the evaluation data, discipline history, and details of the event. The following two standards must be considered to determine if the behavior is a manifestation of the student's disability. Standard 1. Based on the information presented to the committee, does there appear to be a direct and substantial relationship between the incident in question and the student's disability? Standard 2. Is the behavior subject to disciplinary action a direct result of failure to implement the IEP? If the team answers yes to either standard, then the behavior is determined to be a manifestation of the student's disability. If the behavior is determined to be a manifestation of the student's disability and does not fall into a special circumstance category, the student is returned to the placement from which the student was removed. If a BIP has already been developed, the ARD committee must review the BIP and modify it as necessary. If a BIP does not yet exist or does not address the current behavior, the committee must conduct a functional behavioral assessment and implement a behavior intervention plan. If it is the unanimous decision of the ARD committee that removal to an alternative education setting is an appropriate modification of the IEP, the student may be removed for up to 45 school days. The parent must be in full agreement with the change of placement and data must be maintained to support that this is an effective intervention for the student. Discussion and parent agreement must be thoroughly documented in the R deliberations and the current BIP must be modified. 
If the committee determines that the behavior in question is not a manifestation of the disability, the same discipline procedures applied to non-disabled students may be used and the committee moves to problem solving. The ARD committee determines educational services that enable the student to continue to progress toward meeting the goals set out in the IEP, provide, as appropriate, a functional behavioral assessment and behavior intervention services that are designed to address the behavior so that it does not recur, and determine the interim alternative education setting. If the behavioral infraction falls into a special circumstance category, the student may be removed to a DAEP for not more than 45 days without regard for behavior being a manifestation of the disability. A special circumstance occurs when a student is on school premises or at a school function and carries or possesses a weapon, knowingly possesses or uses illegal drugs, or sells or solicits the sell of a controlled substance, or has committed serious bodily injury upon another person. Dangerous weapon means a weapon, device, instrument, material, or substance that is used for or is readily capable of causing death or serious bodily injury. The term does not include a pocket knife with a blade of less than two and a half inches in length. An illegal drug means a controlled substance but does not include a controlled substance that is legally possessed. It does not include alcohol, tobacco, or tobacco products, or possession of one's own prescribed medication. Serious bodily injury is defined as bodily injury which involves a substantial risk of death, extreme physical pain, protracted and obvious disfigurement, or protracted loss or impairment of the function of a bodily member, organ, or mental faculty. The typical fight would not meet this standard. Although we are allowed to place the student in a DAEP without regard to the behavior being a manifestation of the disability when the infraction is deemed a special circumstance, we must still proceed with the manifestation determination review process to determine if the student can be held to regular disciplinary standards after the 45-day removal. If the student's behavior is determined not to be a manifestation of the disability, then the student's disciplinary removal could be for more than 45 days if that would be the consequence for a non-disabled student. If the ARD committee determines that the infraction is a manifestation of the student's disability, but the campus administrator has reason to believe the presence of the student creates a safety concern on the campus and may pose physical harm to oneself or others, the parent must be in full agreement with the change of placement and the removal can be no more than 45 school days. If the parent is not in agreement, the district may request a due process hearing. Only a hearing officer appointed by TEA may remove the student to an interim alternative education setting for not more than 45 school days in this situation. If the district had knowledge that the student is a student with a disability before the misconduct occurred, the student may assert any of the protections available to students receiving special education services. A school district has knowledge that a student may have a disability in any of the following situations. When a parent has expressed concern in writing to a school administrator or the student's teacher that the student needs special education and related services. When a parent has requested that the student be evaluated for special education. Or when a teacher or other school personnel has expressed specific concerns about a pattern of behavior directly to the special education director or other supervisory personnel. If the parent disagrees with the manifestation determination, it does not trigger a 10-day stay put or an R to be reconvened within 10 days. The parent may request an expedited hearing through TEA. The following are suggested strategies for staying in compliance. Whenever possible, try to find alternatives to out-of-school suspension. Be proactive. If a student is exhibiting challenging behaviors, hold a problem-solving ARD meeting and consider conducting a functional behavior assessment and developing a behavior intervention plan before a suspension accumulates to more than 10 days. Use in-school suspension carefully and do not create a change of placement without conducting a manifestation determination review ARD. Have a procedure for counting the days for each student with a disability. Develop methods for serving students who are removed for more than 10 days. Provide thorough documentation in the MDR of the discussion of how the disability manifested itself in the student, rationale for the decision, and explanation of why. And lastly, be prepared for parental disagreement. This concludes the presentation. 
For additional information, please visit the Special Education website accessible through the AISD Cloud.